Here's what we're getting. Get immersed in the spider verse. The red whopper. And you get a exclusive cup. Limited time only while supplies last. And while we're here, we'll show you this. Whopper Junior Duo going on for five bucks. Hey guys, today we are in front of Burger King. And the reason we are here today, they are bringing out a new Whopper, a Spider-Man first Whopper for the new animated Spider-Man movie that's ready to hit the movie theater. I think this burger is gonna last till June 21st, limited time. And they also have a Spider-Man Sunday. So we're gonna go in and get both of them just to show you what they look like. They're probably not gonna taste any different, but there is I think a different cheese on these. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. All right, guys, we're gonna unwrap the new Spider-Man Whopper. Look at that. It's the spider. That way you know you have the right sandwich. It also has some of the hats. Yeah, look at that. But there's something we didn't get was the limited edition cup. They didn't have any. It's not a big deal to us. Yeah. We just got a regular one. But as long as they have the sandwich. That's the main thing. There it is. Nice red color. The black sesame seeds on top of it. Let's take it apart. Got the lettuce, two slices of Swiss cheese on that. That's what's different. And your normal Whopper toppings on there. All right, there's the pickles, plenty of onions, lettuce, tomato, ketchup, and mayo. That's bright. Now there's not much different with the flavor of this. But what the Swiss cheese, I think it's creamier, or maybe it's just because the cheese is melted. I don't know. Basically the same. You know, I like the idea of it being red. It does remind you of Spider-Man. All right, guys, I'm going to try it. Does it match? I think it, the it new Spider-Man movie, the outfit's a little different. I don't this know. old school Spider-Man. I think it matches really well. I grew up on watching the one in the 60s. Who remembers that? That was the best Spider-Man ever. Even though when he was swinging around town, he would swing by these same buildings. We actually have that box set of all those old cartoons, that original series. All right, I'm gonna try it. It is pretty though. Now the first thing I noticed was the cheese. I like the Swiss cheese on here better than I do the regular cheese they put on here. I do like the Whoppers toppings. The onions are great. Put a lot of pickles on there with that mayonnaise. The bread doesn't taste any different than the regular bread. It's just for looks, but nice little catchy idea for this movie. It'd be cool if you did have the collectible cups. People probably save those things who like the movie. So it's a great idea for the new movie. Whether or not we'll go see it, I don't know. I mean, I haven't seen a new animated Spider-Man in a long time. I'm still stuck in the 60s, like we said before. But this is a good burger. I mean, I like Whoppers. But the flavor is no different. No different, except the Swiss Except cheese. for the cheese, the cheese yeah. cheese does add a little mm -hmm. different flavor to it. Now, when we were talking about the cup, I'm not sure if the cup is like plastic or paper. Yeah, I don't know either. Maybe uh, here, because it's available until what, June, the, mm -hmm, the 21st. Maybe we'll come in here and maybe see the cup next time. But Bobby, you didn't put your, you didn't put your little crown on. Yeah, I probably won't. You should, since yeah. you got the Spider-Man shirt. I had to wear it for today. And we got a combo. Have some Burger King fries. I mean, they're average. They can't compare to McDonald's fries. McDonald's fries are probably a little better than these. Went back up, got the Sunday after we ate the Whopper. It's vanilla soft serve with some 
red and black popping candies. It says they're chocolate flavored. Pretty good amount on there. They didn't did. They? All right. There you go. Get you some of those popping <laughs> candies. What were you making those faces for? Because it was popping. <laughs> How long has it been since you've had Pop Rocks? Well, I still have some in my mouth, so give me a second. All right. I think it's a cute idea. I think kids will like this, but I don't get a lot of the chocolate flavor out of the popping candy. But it's been a long time since I've had those Pop Rocks when we grew up. Mm -hmm. So when it started popping a little bit, my mouth was like, whoa, that's weird. Yeah, I was looking at you. You were making faces. <laughs> it was, because it was weird. How's the ice cream, though? It's good. Vanilla ice cream. I think kids will enjoy it, especially um, like our grandkids have never had those Pop Rocks. I think they would be really laughing when they would start popping in their mouth. I'm going after it. Let's get some of these. Boy, it's been a while, and I love these things. He used to like take the whole pack and just pour them in your mouth and not even chew them and just wait for that sound to come out. They're still popping on me as I'm talking right <laughs> now. I can feel them in there. I cannot tell those are chocolate flavored. But they are a little sweet, I think. Maybe it's the ice cream, but it does have a little sweet flavor to it. You guys remember, I don't know when it was, the 70s or 80s, that the rumor going around was that, what was that Mikey? I think it was just, Mikey, yeah. Yeah, and Mikey would eat it, that he died because he ate Pop Rocks. Mm -hmm. Who remembers that? I remember that, because I don't think we were allowed to have Pop Rocks anymore after that. People but it, it wasn't true. No, people thought for years that Mikey had died. Mm -hmm. And he did. He's still alive today, probably. I don't know, but he didn't <laughs> die from Pop Rocks. No. But the ice cream is very good. So, like Bobby said about this, a nice little gimmick for the little kids. Not bad. I mean... I think they should have put something red in here with it. Maybe like a <clears throat> strawberry uh, syrup or strawberry topping or mm -hmm. just something red, cherry, yeah. instead of the pop rocks. It's decent. While we were sitting here, we decided to look up and see if Mikey was still alive. Now we know he didn't die from pop rocks, but today he is still alive. And here is what they said happened to him. He ate those pop rocks that were in there then he drank coke which you are doing but you're drinking pep yo yeah, no you're no, drinking no. coke burger king no. serves coke and his stomach exploded so i don't know bobby just ate and drank the same thing that mikey did that they said killed him back in the 70s but we all know that didn't happen mm -hmm. And if you don't remember who Mikey was, he was always the kid that they waited to see if he would eat something. And they'd say, hey, Mikey, he likes it. He never even spoke a word. Mm -hmm, he didn't. So you guys, according to Bobby, are safe to eat this ice cream and drink your Coke <laughs> at the same time. So oh, know. it's a fable. So you tell them it's safe or not. I'm giving you guys the approval to do it. I'll say don't do it. All right, let's take a look at our receipt. The small Sunday 249 and the Whopper combo 849. A grand total of $11.75. Well, we just left Burger King after trying the new Spider-Man Whopper and Sunday. What did you think about it, Bobby? I like the way the, the bun looked with the red and then the black sesame seed. That, that was a really good idea. And then you had the Pop Rocks and the little ice cream. There was really nothing different other than the Swiss cheese, which I did like that. It's a little bit, yeah. I thought creamier, but like I said, I don't know if it's because the cheese was melted. But I think it's a great idea. I think kids would enjoy it. Maybe come and get that sandwich before you go to the movie or after the movie. And if you get here early enough before they run out, get one of those crowns for your kids, and maybe you'll get lucky and get one of those cups. So I think this is a good marketing idea for Burger King. The only thing I would have done, maybe put those Pop Rocks in there and put, like I said, inside maybe some strawberries or something, something else red. Mm -hmm. But it was still pretty decent. Not a bad price for that little Sunday. Yeah, it's a cute idea. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J, J and, and B have, have left the building. And I'm still standing. So I'm telling you, the stuff is safe. Drink your pop with your pop rocks. Spider-Man.